With Florida's panther population rebounding, some ranchers complain that the protected predators are once again killing their calves. Here's the Associated Press with more. We've had people in our barn feeding and seeing a panther walk right across this exact area. Southwest Florida is panther territory. The big cats have roamed near these cattle ranches for decades. But now endangered panther populations are on the upswing due to protection laws. And ranchers like Lisa Pretty say the cats are killing more of their calves, costing Pretty and others a lot of money. This video released by the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service shows a panther walking away from its prey on Pretty's ranch. Because we've got the ideal habitat and because we're also trying to make a living by raising cattle on that habitat, we feel like uh, it's not asking too much to be compensated for providing that habitat in some way. Compensation has been a hotly debated topic, but now a University of Florida study released early to the AP will help wildlife officials better quantify the number of kills and the financial impact on ranchers. Conservation groups want some accountability on the part of the ranchers so they aren't effectively double dipping, getting paid both for preserving habitat and for their livestock losses. The devil's in the details. The amount of the incentive is the amount proportionate to what we are getting in as far as um, benefits and assurances on their part. Both sides agree that the state's history of ranching has helped the panther in some ways. With the panther's recovery, the two will just have to learn how to live together. Suzette LeBoy, Associated Press.